Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game for Scratch. Today we're looking at an in-development plugin for the Godot game engine. It is called the Godot Road Generator, and I guess from that name you can probably guess what it does, and that is it generates roads in Godot. So it's a very well-named plugin, let's go check out what it looks like. So this here is Godot 3.5. This is a plugin right now in development in Godot 3.5. On release it will be for 4.x and beyond, with 3.5 being a stable release at that point in time. If you want to go ahead and check it out, it is available in the asset library. Just come on up here and search for for road. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, so it's this guy right here, just go ahead and download and import it in. Uh, this isn't the way that I would use it, to be honest. Uh, there's a in-development version that I think is actually quite a bit cooler, and we'll check that one out in a second as well. So here we go, create a new scene, and then what you're going to notice is, oh, I gotta do one more setting. Come up here, project settings, go to your plugins folder and enable this guy and then close that, and then now what you'll notice is I come over here, I search for road, and we're gonna find we have things like road lane, road network, road point, and so on. The only one you actually need to work with at this point in time is road network, and when that is done, you'll notice up here a new menu here, go create, and you can create roads. So you can see here, this is going to create a two lane by two lane road, and you've got these control points in place, so you can actually go ahead and uh, sit here we could grab that point right there and then we could say okay so we'll add another road point in and then off we go now the other thing i want you to notice here is this selectors this is dynamically able to create oops come on there we go bring it back so you can grab this guy right here and dynamically create more lanes as you pop out so here we go create two more lanes in this direction like so you see how it bowed out like that uh, we will add another uh, road point into the thing, and now you see here we've got new lanes going forward. So you can use this to basically dynamically create roads in the Godot game engine. Uh, you do actually have control. You can turn the auto lane creation off, and you can manually create each lane as you wish. You can also set up things like uh, how big the shoulder is on both sides. You see here we just narrowed down the shoulder at that control point. We'll do this on the other side as well. So that is the process with the existing plugin. And if you need to create roads in Godot, this is perfectly fine. Uh, the functionality of this guy actually works a little bit better, like the, the lane creation stuff. It's just the actual process of creating your roads is a little bit awkward in this version uh, because there is a development version. So you go over here, there is the project for it. So it, this is an MIT licensed project, by the way. Uh, they just hit 100 stars recently, so now they're up to 120. Maybe we can pump that up a little bit more if you're interested in this guy. Uh, and this is part of the Wheel Steel game. That's what they're creating this plugin for. So it's for creating 3D highways. And what I'm going to do is come in here and grab the repository like so. And we're going to fire up a terminal window. And of course, we're going to change into the temp directory because that is where all work is done. We will do a git clone branch dev. So we're going to grab the dev branch here, and then we paste that URL in there. So there we go. Let it come down from there. Now, one thing I did find, and it tripped me up big time when I was testing this on the Mac, all my images were corrupted for some reason when I cloned it. It turns out this is an LFS repository for some strange reason. So make sure that you have Git LFS installed or all of your images will break. Don't know why, just one of those things to be aware of. All right, so there we go. Now we need to fire up a version of Godot. So let's go back here. We'll quit out to the uh, project lists like so. Uh, so not save there. Here we are back. And now what we're going to do is import that project. So that's C colon slash temp. Let's browse for our project. And we are going to find it there. Godot road generator. There is a demo project for us available right there and import and edit. So now we've got uh, the newest version, the development version, you're gonna find things have changed quite a bit. Now this is another weirdness that I found. There's some kind of a circular dependency issue. So you're seeing you're getting this error right here. All you do is basically come up here and say reload current project. Now this is a project under active development. So hopefully that's one of those things that goes away in time. I have no idea why it does that. No idea particularly why that fixes it. It's some kind of, again, of a circular dependency that resolves. But if you run into that error, just reload the project and then you are good to go. So come up here, project settings. We will go to the plugins and enable the plugin just like we did before. And now you're gonna find it has changed quite a bit. So we're gonna create a brand new 3D scene. And then what you're gonna see here, if we search for road now, we have a bunch more options. Now, a lot of this stuff is work in progress things. There are things here like for AI pathing, uh, you can dynamically generate roads, etc. So what we've got here is a road manager. As far as I can tell, the road manager doesn't actually do anything yet. 
So, uh, but it is flagged as being a requirement for the road container. Now, road container is the heart of this guy, and now you're going to find things have changed quite a bit here. So here is, by the way, the texture that is being uh, pasted for your actual road. You could change that out if you wanted to have country roads or different painting schemes or whatever. You can change that accordingly. But we've got our road. You can see not much going on here now, but you'll see the UI has changed quite a bit. So I'm going to go slightly above here. And now what we're going to do is a roads. And then we can see here we can do uh, a new 2x2 two two road as our starting point. So there is our new road. Again, we have this selector for changing the lanes going forward. So now we're going to have three lanes from that point on. And now what you can do is come up here and we basically go to these selectors here and we can do uh, new roads. So like here. And the weird bend. So you're going to get that that bend was not ideal, as you can see, going around the corner. But we come down here. We loop over here. And while you are working on things, and you've got the ability to close up existing roads like that, too. So you basically go from one point to another. It will close the road network. And then we can actually come back here. We can do a select. So you're going to find over here this this bend is, is not ideal. Uh, so you can basically you know move that guy out a little bit. Uh, you can move it in like so and then you do have fine-tuned control uh, over the angle as well where did that go all right uh, but basically here uh, massage out the road as it stands is it this guy that I want yeah so let's let's straighten that angle out a bit so I'm definitely causing some issues with the um, the kinking in here and again this is not uh, a completely finished product so you're gonna see some some little artifacts where it has issues going around the corners. Uh, again, you can select any control point here, and you're seeing each one is creating a new point on the road network. Uh, and then you can actually come over here and tweak that individual one. So you can change the lane. So if you don't want to have auto laning, you can come in here and you can change out the so slow lane should become uh, a two-way lane. And then you're going to see the lining of it changes accordingly. So you got control over exactly how these are going to be created. Now you're going to notice that this is only going to last until the next point. So if you want to do the same thing here, you'd come in, Again, turtle auto lading off and change it accordingly. Um, yeah, it, that's kind of the idea behind it. By the way, it, it is uh, aware of uh, verticality uh, and it should snap to a collider mesh. So if you have a train in your world and you're painting on it, it should respond to it accordingly. So if you head on back over to the GitHub repository, you can scroll on down here and you will find the wiki link. Click the wiki link. Uh, again, a thing I need to remind you about is we did pull the dev branch. There's a lot that changed between the dev branch and the current master branch. Uh, but you can see the, the list of features are here. We showed a bunch of them as it stands right now. Uh, the things that they're looking to add are the intersections, out-of-the-box AI follower component, improved support for textured road materials, roadside elements such as lampposts and side barriers. Uh, so that is the stuff that you can expect from this guy in the future. Again, keep in mind, this is a Godot 3.x plugin, but it's going to migrate soon to Godot 4. So if you're interested in this one and keeping an eye on it, because uh, I think most of you guys are now on Godot 4, uh, I don't know what would be involved in porting this guy over. It's written entirely in GDScript. So I don't think porting it yourself would actually be that hard. Or of course, you could just wait and let someone else do the work for you. So that there, ladies and gentlemen, is the Godot road generator. Once again, there is a version of this, a much earlier version of this available on the um, in the asset library and this will I imagine eventually be in the asset library again the big thing I noticed for this version is the road creation uh UI or the user experience in general, it just isn't nearly as nice. Uh, so I, I do find actually this one then tends to make slightly better lanes uh, than the uh, dev version of it, but the UI in the dev version uh, I think is is much better. So you got again this full integration in here. Uh, select your road over here. You got the ability to create points, destroy points in your road network, and it'll automatically fill in the branch there as well. Uh, you've got the ability to add new points in as well, and then just literally click and drag. So if you want to create roads rapidly, the new version is just so much faster to work with. So I would recommend checking out the dev branch if you're interested. And again, one thing that uh, they seem to really like is stars. So if this project looks interesting to you, uh, give it a star on uh, GitHub. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.